people what's up happy day it's tuesday for me but i don't know when you're watching this today's gonna be a little bit of a different video so i recently just did a 30-day social media fast and i've gotten a lot of questions about why what i did instead of it or like if i'm gonna do it again or if i learned anything or if i had anything happen while i was not on i wrote it all down got my notebook so i stay focused and my battery's gonna die okay new batteries in <sighs> let's get down to business why did i even do this i set a bunch of goals every year of different things that i want to do and last year one of the goals that i had set for this year was to do a 30-day social media fast i think i had heard something about it there was like a book that was i think it's called like the 40-day social media fast but it's also like a devotional book and like how to get closer to god and stuff like that and so i think i saw that book i was like oh that sounds like a really good like i would love to do that and i've fasted social media for like a week at a time and i really enjoyed like what it felt like so I was like, ooh, full month. That like would be kind of hard, but I feel like it would like benefit me. A point that I want to make is I know that not everybody has like an addiction to social media. It is a very real addiction, but not everybody cares about it. Like my best friend, for example, if she's not on social media, like it's not that big of a deal to her. All of my income, my job, like coaching, um, my Etsy shop and all my other stuff, a lot of it is based on social media like if i'm not on social media there's a good chance i'm not gonna get paid <laughs> so for the past four years i have been on social media almost every single day and it takes a toll on you after august i was just like you know what i need this i was just kind of overwhelmed and like burnt out and i didn't feel like i was having fun anymore i wasn't enjoying being on it i wasn't enjoying being like a coach anymore i wasn't enjoying constantly posting and talking to people like i was i was burnt out to be honest i found myself starting to look for validation in my social media and that's messed up and i never was really like that before but i found myself lately becoming that way i didn't want to be like that anymore so i was like okay september is it we're cutting it off and i'm deleting everything so i didn't actually delete my actual accounts i just deleted everything on my phone because with my laptop the only thing i'd ever used to get on my computer was facebook and so i just avoided getting on that because i'm i only use my laptop for work i deleted facebook facebook messenger tiktok snapchat and instagram those were the apps that i deleted because those were the apps that i felt like i would mindlessly scroll i would mindlessly compare myself um and i just kind of had like an addiction to so i decided to get off of that and i missed to be honest i really missed making youtube videos i missed like working on my own website my own blog i really wanted to figure out like what i was supposed to do and what i wanted to do like what lights me on fire like what makes me happy what i was doing was not making me happy anymore i decided to get off to focus on my youtube to focus on blogging to focus on learning how to grow following through pinterest like because pinterest I, i'll get on pinterest but i will not be on there for hours like i'll get on pinterest and i will like find a cute things that i'm off because i'm over it and like same with youtube like i'll watch stuff on youtube but a lot of times i will like read with ambiance music or i'll work with ambiance music like there's a few people that i follow on youtube and i'll watch their stuff every once in a while but a lot of it's like i'll watch sermons and i'll watch i'll listen to like daily vlogs in the background of the background so i'm not like really addicted to youtube but I love creating content for YouTube. I've always liked it so much. And even though I haven't really, sorry, I keep itching my nose. Even though I haven't really grown to the amount that I would have liked to or as fast, I still really enjoy making videos. I enjoy talking to the audience that I have. Like those of you who actually follow me and care and watch my videos, like I enjoy that. So I don't care about the money aspect of YouTube. Like that's never been my thing. I just do because I like doing it and it makes me happy. So I really wanted to find more things or a different thing or less things. I don't know. I just, I wanted to find out in general what makes me happy. There's a few things that I really learned from being off of social media and I wanted to share them with you guys because they were very important for me once I started 
figuring out that these are the things I was learning. Uh, the first thing is I no longer compare my life or my body to anybody else. And that, I feel like social media is such a huge, huge tool to comparing yourself to everybody. Comparison is the thief of joy. And it's so true because you look at other people and their lives, their bodies, their vacations, their families, and you just compare, well, we're the same age. Why don't I have that? Why don't I look like that? Why can't I do this? Or why can't I afford this or whatever? And you start getting depressed because you start comparing every single little aspect of your life to somebody else's who typically isn't even showing you their entire life. They're just sharing the good parts. After like a few weeks, I was happier. I wasn't concerned about my life or about my weight. Like I wasn't thinking about it every five seconds like I used to. And honestly, it was really nice. That is a huge reason that makes me not want to be on it as much as I was before because I feel like I'm in that place where like I'm not so stressed anymore and I'm not caring about those things. Another thing is I started using my time better. So I procrastinated a lot less. I spent more time with my family and I spent more time with God, which is very important to me. I feel like before there's that saying that's work harder or work smarter, not harder. And I feel like when I would promote my business or promote coaching or promote anything on social media, I'd get on and I would go to promote and I would, but then I'd be on for hours and hours. Also, I've learned to live more intentionally, live in the moment and I don't feel the need to post constantly. So I remember there was this morning that I, so I like, did our one of the videos that I posted recently I, I redid my front porch and put all of our fall stuff out and I have like a little chair out there and stuff and I remember getting up one morning and I was drinking hot coffee and I was just sitting there and I remember thinking like wow I don't have to take a picture of this I don't have to show anyone this like I just get to enjoy this moment and maybe that seems like it's something that's kind of crazy like if you're somebody that doesn't really understand posting or being on all the time, like it might be super weird to you. But for somebody who's been on it on a daily basis for four years, that's hard. It's hard to think about like, well, I have to post this and I have to do this and I have to show up for these people and I have to connect this way. And sometimes it just becomes overwhelming. And so it was really nice to sit in that moment and just like genuinely enjoy that actual moment without sharing it with anyone else like it was literally just me and nature i guess but i've also learned more to like i i've noticed that looking through my like my photos like through like the fo the month of september i barely took any photos at all and at first i was like oh my gosh i didn't document anything like any of my life in september but then i, I realized it wasn't that I wasn't documenting it, it was because I was living it, like I was enjoying those moments. I was actually making memories that didn't need to be documented, that didn't need to be posted. I was making memories with my kids and my family. So it just felt nice knowing that I was living in the moment and not just posting for everybody else to see. Well, I've noticed too that I am a lot more grateful with my surroundings. When you're constantly staring at your phone in it all the time like you're not enjoying or seeing anything else that's around you it's just been so nice to like watch the kids run around outside and to like notice the leaves changing and to you know notice certain people that are always around my neighborhood and you know going for walks and just kind of enjoying enjoying life and stuff and it's it's made me a lot more grateful and appreciative about what I have and what and who I have around me. I don't know if I just lost sight of that because obviously we love our families, you know, like you're, you, you, you're not gonna sit there and say, well, I don't appreciate my family. You do, like you appreciate your family, but it was like a different level of gratefulness. Because of all of these things that I've like learned and gone through and like felt, a lot of things are changing. I have, and I'm gonna make a separate video on one of these things because it's, I'm gonna have to go into a lot more detail about it, but one of the biggest things I've realized is that I really liked the feeling of not having social media. The fact that I didn't have to post if I didn't want to. I didn't have to show anyone my workouts. I didn't have to reach out to anybody. I didn't have to constantly be on all the time. And I could just be myself and be happy and enjoy other things. And you know, I, I started like 
drawing again and like learning you know like different painting techniques and doing art which i love it just made me like not want to go back to it so i've made some decisions so i decided that i am actually going to stop coaching i've been coaching for four years and i'm done <laughs> and it's so weird to say that because coaching has been something that completely changed my life and i don't think i'd be the person that i am without it but i'm going to make a video on that because it's not because of anything that the company did it was just because i came to realization of what i want and how i want things to be and it does not involve being on social media all the time i also started writing two new books hopefully i'll get out sometime next year i realized that i missed making youtube videos so i want to put more effort and creativity into that and learn how to do new things with you know actually doing my videos i also started taking some courses so i went to school a few years back i graduated with um, my bachelor's degree in marketing since i've been out a lot of things have happened and i have not really done anything with that so google has these like certification things that you can go do and it's all like on your own time i'll link that below if you guys want to like check that stuff out it's not sponsored or anything but i had never heard of it until my brother brought it up but you can actually get certified through google for a bunch of different things i'm retaking those courses so that i can add to my degree so that i can do something that is remote but different that i do not need to be on social media for myself but i'm learning about all these different like techniques with email marketing and e-commerce and selling and helping other companies and agencies and doing these for other companies and i'm actually really enjoying it like i'm enjoying being behind the scenes and i think it's because my face has been <laughs> on the front of all my social media for so long that i kind of don't want it anymore you know so i'm not going to be posting daily before i was posting six to seven days a week on my instagram it all trickled over to my facebook and you know i had was doing stories all day every day and i kind of i just i'm over it like i don't want to do it anymore i don't want to have to be like picture perfect anymore and you know, I really want to post because it's something that I enjoy or something that I really think would add value to somebody's life or, you know, helping share some story that impacted me or, you know, just in general, like anything that's on my mind with, you know, being closer to God, like that's, those are the things I want to post. And I don't want to post because I have to post. I want to post because I want to post. I, and I read three books while I was off of social media, like, that was a lot for me to do three books in one month but it was really fun and i really enjoyed it so I, I like the idea of like sitting in a cozy corner and like reading a book and having like hot chocolate and stuff like i don't know like something weird is happening because i'm a summer girl but like i'm really excited about winter <laughs> and i don't know things are just changing in such a good way i'm just really learning to love the life that i've been given and realize that what i do have is a blessing and that i can't complain about everything like i've had a lot of crappy things happen to me the past few years i think just in general like having the opportunity to just really truly love your life and appreciate what you have and to actually hear birds and chipmunks and stuff <laughs> and like to pay attention to the sun rising and the sun setting and and i don't know like i just I'm very excited about what is to come and it's not like this thing of like oh I was looking for a new job like it's not even like that like I just I love I'm a very passionate person so if I feel like there is no passion in what I have whatever it is that I'm doing I'm out I want <laughs> to be passionate about things so I I'm not gonna stop posting videos I really like making content I like talking to you guys and I like that you guys enjoy this so maybe this gives you some insight i will try to link that book that i was talking about the 40 day social media fast i didn't use that but um i'll link it down below in case that's something you want to look at i mean i honestly i i highly highly recommend going a month without social media like without scrolling without posting without any of it because maybe your issue isn't that you're posting all the time maybe your issue is that you're constantly scrolling over and over and over again and it becomes an addiction and it kind of sucks thank you guys so much for spending time with me i have no idea how long this video is so hopefully it's not super long but if you are still here at the end thank you so much from the bottom of my heart um and yeah like i can't wait to see like i don't know like the changes that are coming like i'm really happy like i'm very hopeful i'm happy here's to new beginnings 
I'll see you guys next time. Bye!